What's going on, people? I had an interesting thought. Really, really interesting thought. What is the purpose of your business? I had to ask myself that question many years ago. Why am I doing this? What is the end game? I know it sounds like, you know, everyone's going to say, I'm making money, bitch. That's, is that really the purpose of your business? Now, if your business is set up to make money, there's nothing wrong with that. Where I'm really going with this is, are you clear why you even have a business? Why you want a business? Why you're working on a business? Do you know? Because if you have a business, and typically if you're just going for money with no other factors that come into play, no other goals, no other intrinsic values or side to your business, I don't think your business is going to be fun most of the time. Not even some of the time. It's just going to be a grind. It's going to be really, really rough. It's going to be something that you may later on despise. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. I'm setting you up. Yes, I just got off the phone with somebody. And that promotes, that prompts these videos because as we were talking, you know, people have goals and they have dreams, but I really just felt the person that I was talking to was unanchored, didn't have a firm foundation on what they were doing, why they were doing it. They were just making, you know, quote, making money, bitch, unquote. And I thought about that because as much as I like to talk about money and everyone that's been on this channel and have known about this channel for a while, they know that I'm all about the cheddar. But when I started Conundrum Publishing, money was a secondary goal. I wanted to fulfill a dream. I wanted to say, hey, I'm a published author. I, there were so many things that were before the money, but if you live in this matrix, you need money. It's unavoidable unless you're going to become a homeless person and pitch a tent every night. And even then, you know, you still need money for your cell phone or whatever. But I really, really thought about it as we were talking because it's like, where are you? Where are you going with this? Why are you doing it? And then, you know, I was just really, really getting into it. And then it came out. The purpose of this person's business was so they didn't have to get a job. That's why I created the business. That was it. There was nothing else before or after that. That was it. I am doing this so I do not have to get a job. And it was like, oh, then that makes a lot of sense because when you're just doing it for one reason, you don't layer your business. And when I say layer, I mean create a situation where your business is your bitch and instead of you being the bitch of your business and many people are the bitch of their business i've been there i had the bitch shoes on when i was in the storage auction business because as i came back out of it and looked at the things that were going on i had to be at certain places whether i wanted to be there or not i bought units if i had plans that evening and those units had to be cleaned out i had to clean them out they had, to, they had to be done, they had to be gone, they had, they had to clean them out. So my business wagged me. It was a case of the tail wagging the dog. And when I really, really thought about it, I was like, man. Now understand, I would not go back and change a thing. It was a wonderful experience. It's the reason that I get to sit here and pontificate with you, talk to you, do hangouts and all this other shit that I get to do because of that experience and doing it for a very long time would not change a thing because that would change the future trajectory and I like this future trajectory I love it I actually rub lotion on myself thinking about it going Ooh, that's so nice but when you're setting up your business what is the purpose did you ask yourself and I would think 
fundamentally, most people are going to set their businesses up to earn money. Nothing wrong with not being critical. We all need money. But if that is your sole motivation, your business is going to get mildewy on you. I made that up. Mildewy. It's going to get mildewy. It's not going to be fun. Because I will tell you about, and I told my client about the last three weeks. It was a case of, now this may weird you out, but I believe in the cosmic shift. I believe when shit just, full moon, whatever, all the stuff that just starts happening and you're just sitting there. I have just learned to grab the madness by the reins and just hold on. At some point, it'll stop. Don't know when it's going to stop, but it'll stop. You will feel like you're, you are slap rock. You was like, what the hell? And typically, typically when I have that type of upheaval, that type of just strangeness, hold on. Sneeze is trying to escape, but I'm not going to let it out. Um, well, <coughs> Well, that's what happened with that. Um, when the strangeness is going on, when other madness, because there were so many things that happened, I sat back and I took action. I mean, I was telling clients, like, you know, it, it was just like, you wouldn't believe the stuff that just happened. Just crazy, like thing after thing after thing after thing after thing after thing. And what I did, because the first thing would be to chill out. Just sit back, let it pass, don't do anything. From me, my walk in life, whatever, you know, what I'm doing. That is the worst thing to do. I actually pushed through it. I mean, push, push, push. Doubled my efforts. Dragged my ass to the gym. I'm into the gym right now. Just kept pushing because what happens when you lay back, when these events happen is you get not halfway behind, you get three to four times behind. Because your mental energy is sapped, your physical energy is sapped, and you just start wondering, why is this stuff happening? But as I was saying, before the sneeze interrupted this broadcast, is when this upheaval happens, it is the prelude to some really hot shit happening, some neat stuff. Uh, something really, really good's about to happen for me. Don't know what, don't know why, what's happening, but something really, really good's going to happen. Because typically, I've learned how to, because this, this shit just happens, it just happens. I've learned not to take it personal. I've learned to count my blessings, to be grateful, because I was sitting having lunch, and I was thinking, July 17th, which is not that far away, two months and some odd days, will be my fifth year anniversary as a writer, is making a living, sitting down and putting words on the page, communicating, putting out content, and I fully support myself in mine doing this, and I'm not just like scratching out some meager, starving artist living. And I had to think, man, that is spellbinding. That's fucking awesome that that kind of thing is happening and is available for me. That's why, I, you know, and I'm, I'm telling my client this because entrepreneurs usually catch a lot of hell. Business-wise, personal-wise, because you're managing so much. And as we were talking about why they started their business and what they wanted to go, the trials and tribulations, because unless you have friends who are business people, your family doesn't understand. You may have a close, you may have a husband or wife who really knows you, who really sees what you're going through, and they have a greater level of empathy, but to everyone else, eh. <laughs> if it's not on my plate, I'm not hungry. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. You know, you can't be mad about it. Everyone lives in their own mind and in their own world. But when you start your business, you know, like I said, all of this stuff is going on. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll even share with you, like, uh, cover guy disappeared, editor disappeared. I'm talking about email for, don't hear nothing. I'm just like, 
is this one of those situations where I'm the only one left in the town and no one told me they left? I mean, it was it was weird. I was like, okay, don't lose your mind. Don't start talking to yourself. You know, you can talk to yourself, but if you answer, you know shit's bad. Then I was like, okay, this has happened before. What are we going to do? We're going to work harder. We're going to push forward because we know that something good is coming because you have somehow disturbed some really negative energy. You've pushed something. You have shoved something. You have disturbed some type of cosmic beehive, and it is not happy with you. And we know people go, oh, well, that's just the devil. No, that ain't the devil. I, I actually don't believe in the devil, for real. But I noticed that when you shift stuff, and I made a big change in my business, and that's part of the shift. But the whole long, drawn-out conclusion from going through all that is, if you are doing your business strictly for money, when shit like this happens, and it's going to happen to you if you start a business, it may happen your first year, it may happen your middle, it, it's going to happen. You're going to bail. And that was what the call was about. Like, what can I do to get out of my business? That was the call. That was the conversation. And I was like, well, let's go back. And this is one of the things that when I talk to people on the hangouts and folks want to ask questions, we have like that much time to connect. I really cannot give you the best answer for you because I don't know you. I have some clients, I really didn't get to know them until like the third consult because it's like, oh, this is why you're doing this and this is why you're doing this. Because it takes that dialogue that you're just not going to get for a snapshot of time. But with all of that stuff going on, and I, I told my client this, it's like, it never occurred to me to do another business. It never even entered my mind. It was like, well, fuck this. I'm going to go back to storage auctions fuck this, I'm going to do this, fuck, I just doubled up my efforts, I uh, rearranged some stuff, but I'm in this for the long haul, this is my vocation, this is my career, this is my, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life, create content in various forms, that's what I, it's, this is it, this is it, this is the, whoo, I know what I want to do when they grow up, this, this is it. And I thought about it, and the reason I never thought about bailing or doing something else is there are many layers to my business. I love what I do. I love talking to some of you. Some of you, uh, I would bitch slap if I saw you in person. Uh, most of you, I would hug and maybe buy a cupcake or something because I think you're cool like that. But it really hit me. This is it. And if you do not do this introspection and experimentation and really ask yourself why am I doing this you know if you wake me up in the middle of the night like why are you a writer because I love writing shit it's like that that's it I love to do this stuff I do it I actually I've got some stuff going on that I'm putting out and you know it's not hitting <laughs> in the fiction stuff people are going <laughs> Woo, that's a stinker and I was like okay lesson learned that's not working and I'm gonna you know tonight I'm gonna work on that some more but the whole point I'm trying to make to you, if you only have one major reason why you're doing what you're doing, you're going to be easily disconnected from what you're doing. It would be very easy to push you off your path. It would be very easy for you to give up, throw in the towel, put on your scared little bitch panties and walk out the door all funny because the panties are too tight. It would be so easy because you don't have any real skin in the game. It is just a, you know, it's a casual preoccupation. You know, one client said, you know, I'll thank you for making me respect my business more because typically as an entrepreneur, now this is, this is something that really will crack you up. There's a lot of really successful entrepreneurs who are bored. Their business runs on autopilot. They don't have to do anything. They're making a shitload of money and they are bored. And they're like doing foolish stuff like, you know, I'm thinking about selling them. Why are you going to sell the business? I actually, I hope I talked her out of it. Because she knew that she was going to get about half a million if she sold and she was looking at that. And I was like, well, if you do X, Y, and Z, you can still get that over time. 
and you know, I don't know. Uh, I haven't talked to her for a minute. But there's a lot of really successful entrepreneurs who are bored as fuck and they're scratching their navels and they think that the reason that they're bored is because it's the business, it's not the business. It's that they have changed. They're not the person that started the business. The business became easy and the challenges that were presented in the startup phase are gone. That's one of the reasons you see these guys who are like serial entrepreneurs. Every time you turn around, it's like, I'm starting this new billion. Because they're bored. They need that challenge. They need that adrenaline rush. And it, it surprises you. It's like, you know, you, wait a minute, you're a successful entrepreneur and you're bored? And then you'll say those words that really do not enter into the equation. If I was you, if you were that person, that person completely, that person totally and utterly, you'd do the same thing they're doing. So if you know that if I were you, if you were them, you would do what they're doing if you were truly them. What you're saying is, I'm a jealous little bitch and I wish I had the opportunities to fuck up that you have. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at. I'm like, wait a minute. You make how much per month? And you thinking about shucking that? Do you know that I have to suck dick, watch Kushi, and lick some panties? to make that in a year and they don't even give me any soap and you're going to throw that shit away it, it's, it's funny that when you become successful it is very easy to forget the journey and the path that got you there and I mean after a few years you know you don't remember those uh, well I do <laughs> I remember that shit you don't remember all of those ugly days because they, they're so far behind you but they're still critical to your success. They're still critical to your journey. But essentially, when you don't have those motivating reasons, like several, like real, like boom, 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 boom. Like, you know, for me, one of my reasons, I wanna be immortal. I wanna write that book that two, 300 years from now, someone's reading on their holodeck, like, damn, that Glendon Cameron was the shit. That, that motivates me, that motivates me. I'm, you know, it's about legacy. It's about being immortal. It's about creating something that is here long after I am gone. That's how I look at it. And I think it's really neat that as a content creator, you can do that. I think it's fucking awesome. But we wrapped up the call after we got to it. And I gave him an assignment to uh, learn to like, oh, no, look. The business is awesome. Business is awesome. But they are tired and they are worn out from the business. And I gave him some tips on how to, you know, freshen shit up. You know, sometimes you have to date your business. You know, you know, they got like a date night. You got to put, you know, put a dress on or some high heels, maybe no panties. I don't know. That, oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about my, my real date. Excuse me. But essentially, you, you have to appreciate those things because there's so many people who work much harder than you do. Much harder than I do. I mean, I'll just be honest. I put in work, but when I compare and contrast what I used to do in the storage structure work, this is like play. This is like play. I mean, you know, I have worked real hard these last three weeks because shit's been discombobulated and the universe has been like, fuck you! And I've been like, you know what? I, I, I was Jennifer Alden. I, I ain't, I'm not going nowhere. I don't care what you throw at me. I ain't going nowhere. And I'm telling you, I'm not going anywhere. So, I think... Uh, the rough patch is over, or maybe over, I don't know. But I'm going to ride it out. I'm going to ride it out. I got my big boy pants on and some spurs. With some, I've been sharpening up the spurs. But essentially, as you are looking at this channel and you're taking in advice and you're thinking about, hey, I'm going to start a business. Why are you starting the business? What is the purpose of your business? Is this purpose so big, so strong? That when the shit that's going to happen, it's going to happen. I'm not even going to sit there and go, oh, no. It's every every entrepreneur that I know has gone through, really successful, has gone through mucho grande shit. I'm talking about backstroking in it. I'm talking about you riding the camel, and the camel's like, boop, 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 and you're like, oh, God, come on, camel. Get me across this shit creek before I, it gets to my nose. You know, I can wash my boots off, but the nose, you know, I might choke on the shit. 
I mean, it, it just happens, and it just happens. And if you don't have purpose, you don't have an internal compass, if you don't have direction, it, it's gonna fall apart, and you're just gonna like start looking for something else to do, which is like, you know, what I call the gopher syndrome. Like, I'm popping up in this Facebook group because this hustle looks good. I'm popping up over here, and I'm popping up over here, because there, there's no purpose there. And without purpose, there is the seeds of failure planted before you begin. You know, you got to think about that. So ask yourself, as you're starting your business, why are you doing it? What's the purpose of your business? Where do you want to be with that business? What do you hope to achieve? And put that on some paper or iPad if you're one of those people. Put it on there. Put it out there. And uh, look at it and, you know, start thinking about it. It's like ask yourself those really important questions. Just look at that and think and think hard. So just something for you to chew on. Now I'm about to go in here and I'm about to, it's a moderate day, uh, backloading day. So, because yesterday was a grind. Yeah, it was a grind. Uh, I know what it was. I screwed up and didn't eat correctly and my energy level was shit. But I know why it happened. And I, today I fueled up, I hope. <laughs> I hope I'm still playing around with this food plan. It's a trip, but we'll find out. But like I said, it's a moderate day. It's more about technique and tension. So I'm not going all out like I normally do. I may have to pull back on that. But uh, think about it. And, you know, if you have a business, if you have a business and you make it this far, because I leave this shit at the end of the, of the video, Put in the comments, what, what's the purpose of your business? Just put it in there. Like, what is it? Have you thought about it? Just put it in there. All right, this is Glendon, and I'll see you on the good side.